the problem here, which is, yes, Soul is correct when he's talking about reality and he's talking about like empirical reality. You know, if you make a promise that your policy is going to do X, Y, and Z and your policy ends up not doing, like doing the opposite of that, that is objectively you failing to live up to reality, right? But there is another respect, there is an, another respect um, in which he is overlooking the extent to which the left have changed, quote unquote, reality. And this is something else which is, again, terribly difficult for us to deal with. But I have always said that I am a, I am a, a, a realist, quote unquote, right? And that involves admitting things that we don't like to. Um, let us take something like the tranny issue, okay? Which even 10 years ago was neither here nor there. Okay, neither here nor there. But now is having like a serious effect on how young people are conducting themselves, how young women are dressing themselves, how young men are dressing themselves, what sort of pornography they're consuming, what sort of sexual fantasies they have, uh, all of this sort of thing. Okay. Um, if you're able to make behavior changes on that sort of level, are you not, in some respect, quote unquote, changing reality? It's a question to be asked. And if they are able, the left, in however limited a way, to quote unquote, change reality, and I mean, I think we'd all admit that the year 2023, the current year, is different from the world that Seoul was writing in in 1980 or the world back in 1950, right? We, we'd all agree that the world has changed. Well, how has it changed? In what direction has it changed? In what directions has it changed? Um, and some part of those changes have been induced by the fact that the left have been in power, which means that some aspect of the battle is the ability to impose your vision of the world onto it and to change reality in your direction. Right. I mean, I think there's a there's a tendency of us to talk about reality as if it kind of it is a free floating platonic form, independent of all of these other things. There's politics over here and then there's the real reality over over here on the ground. This is um, a little bit how how Sol talks, because he talks about the empirical reality. Right. Whereas I do think that if we admit that the world has changed in a left wing direction, then we have to admit that in some capacity, the left have changed reality. In which case we have to admit that maybe reality is up for grabs. Maybe reality has to be fought over. Just, you know, all right, let's carry on. To the anointed, it seems to follow as the night follows the day that reality must be brought into line with their vision. Logically, one might just as readily conclude that it is the theory which needs to be brought into line with reality. But that possibility is seldom given much consideration. The fact that reality has survived the test of time and experience, while the viability of their vision has yet to be proven in practice, is likewise seldom given much attention. Moreover, the process by which a society is to move from the existing situation to the situation desired by the anointed is seldom analyzed for its characteristics as a process some process may indeed be specified a war on poverty, criminal rehabilitation programs, sex education in the schools, but a critical evaluation of the characteristics of such processes is seldom forthcoming. The discussion tends to be in terms of goals rather than incentives and assumptions rather than evidence. 